ओके चिल्ड्रन नाउ इन सेशन टू अबाउट द कोस्टल प्लेन्स ऑफ इंडिया यू नो वी आर हैविंग टू कोस्टल प्लेन्स वेस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन एंड ईस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन एंड इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द वेस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन ओनली वील गिव अ रिकैप फर्स्ट वेस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन विच स्टार्ट फ्रॉम गुजरात टिल अप टू कन्याकुमारी एंड यू नो कन्याकुमारी इज अनदर नेम इज केप कॉमोरिन एंड दिस वेस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री पार्ट्स नंबर वन इज ओनली द गुजरात कोस्ट गुजरात कोस्ट एंड सेकेंड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम गल्फ ऑफ खंबात यू नो दिस इज गल्फ ऑफ खंबात फ्रॉम गल्फ ऑफ खंबात टिल अप टू गोवा वी आर हैविंग द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द वेस्टर्न कोस्ट एंड देन द लास्ट एंड द थर्ड वन इज फ्रॉम गोवा टिल अप टू कन्याकुमारी दिस इज द थर्ड part of the western coast and on this coast western coast we find many lagoons backwaters and rivers reefs why only because of the sand banks now in our today's session we are going to study about eastern coastal plains and you know eastern coastal plains are lying at the bay of bengal okay and western coast eastern coastal plains they starts from kanyakumari in tamil nadu till up to here river gangas a uh, delta and you know we have studied the deltas at the time of the plains in west bengal here when the river comes and uh, spreads in the many distributaries and mixes in the bay of bengal and this part of the river ganga and from here river brahmaputra or padma and hugli when they meet in bay of bengal they make so many small small tributaries and they make the delta here so our western coastal plain starts from kanyakumari in tamil nadu till up to here the delta of river ganga okay now as i have as i had highlighted both the coast western coast and eastern coast and from this you can find that eastern coast is broader than the western coast you can see the difference see here it's so thin and narrow and it's broad and eastern coast it stretches from kanyakumari to the delta of river ganga in west bengal these plains are bound by the bay of bengal on the eastern side and by the mountains on the eastern ghats and you know our southern part is also a um, uh, deccan plateau so because of the deccan plateau we find here small small hills also so the eastern coasts it comes in between the bay of bengal in the east and in the west the what we see here mountains of the eastern ghats okay eastern coastal plains comprise many deltas why because here the many rivers form the deltas like ganga mahanadi godavari krishna and kaveri four rivers are flowing in the eastern coast that's why the land of the eastern coast is very fertile in comparison to the western coast because we find here the rivers mahanadi here godavari kaveri and krishna which makes the land and the plain areas very fertile and the delta formed by the mahanadi here the delta formed by mahanadi is the widest in this area understood this much and which states are covering in the eastern coast see odisha andhra pradesh and tamil nadu and kanyakumari comes in tamil nadu understood this much now this eastern coast also divided into two parts as western coast is divided into three parts eastern coast is divided into two parts the eastern coast plains are divided into two main regions the northern part the northern part is known as northern circles 
एंड द सदर्न पास इज नोन एज कोरोमंडल कोस्ट ओके सो दिस पार्ट द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट इज नोन एज दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट नॉर्दर्न पार्ट इज नोन एज नॉर्दर्न सिरकर्स एंड द सदर्न पार्ट इज नोन एज दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट विच इज नोन एज कोरोमंडल कोस्ट ओके नाउ on this west eastern coast also we have three main important seaports or the harbors the india's largest on third number harbor is chennai you know where is chennai here see here is chennai in the coromandel coast so chennai is the india's third largest port which is also the known as harbor and others are you can find here visakhapatnam here and then a uh, pondicherry ye yeah, here pondicherry okay pondicherry also these are the main important seaports which receives coromandel coast this coromandel coast southern part receives heavy rainfall during the north east and the south east monsoon at the time of monsoon this southern part either the west or east all because kerala comes in the western coast kerala region and here the coromandel coast they receive heavy rainfall at the time of the monsoon and the climate is mild throughout the year throughout the whole of the year on both the coastal lines the climate is mild and humid also why because they are on the coast of arabian sea and on the bay of bengal i hope you understood east western and eastern coastal plains now see western and eastern coastal plains meet at kanyakumari where they meet they both meet at kanyakumari or you can say the meeting point of western and eastern coastal plains is cape comorin or kanyakumari and these coastal lines they provide us cash crops which crops coconut rubber and plenty of fish most of the people's occupation is fishery because of the coastal areas and you know in the western coast uh, the last time we studied that the common crops of this region are tobacco coffee sugarcane cloves and banana these are also cash crops and for the eastern coast the main cash crops are coconut and rubber okay many small small towns on the western and eastern coast serve as the ideal vacation spots many people of from all over india from all over india in the vacation time they want to come and enjoy their vacations on the coastal areas not only from india from the international partner tourist also they are coming and enjoying so small small towns which are very famous near the coastal areas people come and enjoy as the tourist places here now the harbor on both the coast now see in the eastern coast we are having the harbor visakhapatnam chennai and puducherry and here the main harbors are mumbai and kochi mumbai and kochi these are the main harbors these harbors or these sea ports on both the coasts are important hubs for international trade understood this much okay i hope now your things are clear with the western and eastern coastal plains western coastal plains are narrow eastern coastal plains are wider in the western coastal plains they cover the states gujarat maharashtra uh, karnataka and kerala in the eastern coast they cover the states tamil nadu andhra pradesh and odisha okay the on these coasts we can find the reefs backwaters and lagoons and on this coast okay the land is very fertile because of the rivers 
महानदी गोदावरी कावेरी एंड कृष्णा महानदी मेक्स द वाइडेस्ट टेक द वाइडेस्ट एरिया टू मेक द डेल्टा फॉर्म द डेल्टा हियर ओके दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट योर वेस्टर्न एंड ईस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन्स ओके नाउ विद द ईस्टर्न एंड वेस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन्स वी आर हैविंग टू इंपॉर्टेंट आइलैंड्स आल्सो नाउ यू कैन सी in the western side in the arabian sea we are having lakshadweep and in the bay of bengal in the eastern side we are having andaman and nicobar island group of islands understood this much okay hope with the help of the map you understood the both the coastal areas of india now after explaining with the map i hope you understood with the map about the western and eastern coastal plains let's take a look on the eastern coastal plains now eastern coastal plains they stretches from kanyakumari in tamil nadu up to river ganga and deltas in west bengal okay now the important points are in the eastern coastal plain river mahanadi godavari kaveri and krishna they flows there and make the land more fertile and mahanadi uh, river makes the forms the delta over there now important port or harbor is chennai which is india's third largest seaport okay now visakhapatnam is also an important seaport on the eastern coast now because of the fertility of the land which types of cash crops we grow there coconut and rubber and fishery is the also occupation because of the coastal areas okay the climate is mild throughout the year coastal plains have people having ideal vacation spots for the tourists and you can see here again i have drawn the small rough map here okay western coast eastern coast both the coast lines are meeting at kanyakumari and kanyakumari is the another name for the cork cape comorin okay i hope i hope you understood this much about the eastern and uh, coast uh, western coastal plains in both the sessions in the third session we will do about the india's islands till then please in open your textbooks and read the textbook and go through the videos properly okay thank you have a nice